Hi guys, uh, here's the next update in the series of videos that uh, I've recently been working on. I was using uh, an application that was designed by uh, somebody else which allowed me to essentially manipulate objects on my desktop. Uh, I was actually thinking that perhaps we could extend that application and uh, allow people to use it more extensively for uh, didactical purposes. You can see the receiver has been mounted vertically on top of this uh, Dell 17-inch uh, monitor. So this is your standard four corner calibration. So essentially I'm just going to there. I've calibrated my uh, screen so essentially I'm back to doing what I could do with the uh, open source version, the, the software that is manipulate objects around my desktop. I could uh, open any window, I could probably see what's, what's lying in my recycle bin. I could, I could basically manipulate my desktop. Uh, there was a huge requirement for people who wanted to use the right click using the pen and uh, uh, that wasn't possible in the previous application so so what I've done is I've added a button on the application which now allows you to right click any part of the desktop and get the context menu that usually appears I could just click right click and uh, it says here the next click will be a right click and I want to change my wallpaper so I'm, I'm going to right click the desktop so I, and there you have the context menu uh, for the right click on the desktop and I can, I can now select an item from this menu I'd select personalize and uh, I, I don't like these wallpapers so I'm, I'm going to go with uh, you know something more artistic so there I just uh, changed my wallpaper. I could essentially do that with uh, any icon. For instance, uh, there are lots of shortcuts on my desktop. I wanted to see the properties of a particular shortcut, so so I, I'd probably just say, okay, I want to see the properties of Picasso. And now I can select that, and here it comes. So I can see, okay, everything's in order, so fine. Uh, there's a button in the center called annotate clicking that brings up a transparent panel which allows you to draw on anything that you can see so uh, if you notice there's a toolbar here uh, with about uh, eight icons in it a lot of times teachers would like to use a, a blackboard or uh, you just want a blank screen so essentially I could click this and blank out my screen. Now I could select a color let's say for example so let's say I'm a math teacher and I wanna highlight a problem on the screen so I'm just gonna be like I just selected an eraser and erased something that I probably didn't want. So, so I'm, I'm so there. Uh, I've basically drawn a very simple problem on screen. Another cool thing that you can do while annotating is. Uh, draw on anything that's under you. So perhaps I don't want to blank out my screen. Perhaps uh, here's uh, something that a lot of geeks do is they make tutorials and they want to do drawing. So, so I essentially want to tell everyone uh, who's a Windows user where my my computer icon is. So, so I could I could probably just draw on screen. I could select uh, a pen color here, and sorry.
So, so as you can see, I've, I've actually scribbled in free uh, cursive handwriting uh, onto the desktop, and uh, so I, I can I can do everything that I just did. I could select another color and probably write something else make a drawing whatever and it's all happening on my desktop again I could choose to clear it and uh, probably uh, do another drawing what I've done is I've incorporated the standard Windows application switcher so as you can see I, I have a PDF icon already over here I've, I've opened a PDF so I, I want to switch to that application so what I can do is I can click this and there you go. The standard Windows application switcher appears and now I can select from all the open applications and say okay this is what I want. And now I could go back to annotating. So I just select I bring my bring my annotation panel back into focus as you would have seen. Like I'll do that again. So here we are at the desktop. Uh, as you can see the annotation panel is gone. So I bring it up. I want to go back to my PDF. Select my PDF again just just click this the annotation panel is back and now I can just probably draw on this PDF and say no this is not something I like logo is wrong and instead of you know uh, worrying about how I'm gonna edit uh, material like this for print ads or for drawings uh, by printing them out sketching with an actual pen and giving the sheet to somebody I can actually now just save this and go to my Microsoft Paint oh sorry just close the annotation panel go to paintbrush paste it over there and now I can just send this to somebody with all my changes in place So that was essentially the uh, annotation features that I've incorporated. There are quite a few other features that I will slowly add on. And uh, hopefully this would become uh, a great application.